right guys here at downtown Siem Reap just uh, a couple hundred feet from my hotel and uh, this is the the night market that uh, apparently it's every night so uh, we're just going to wander down here uh, show you the sights and sounds of the night market there's lots of food here uh, across the river over that way is um, uh, another market so it's not as quite as big as this one there's another one next to my hotel which is very big so food looks good smells great and now we're just gonna wander down here and see what it uh, what we can find Thank you. Alright guys, it's gonna go across this bridge here and check out the other side of the river. Um, there's other non, another market there, but not not as big as the one on the other my uh, the main side of the river. It's kind of sad because this river, it's uh, there's tons of junk in it, like garbage. And I don't think when I was here years ago, it wasn't quite as bad as it is now. So it's kind of disappointing. Should just like hire a couple locals to just clean it up. It'd be nothing to do that, but. But uh, yeah, it looks kind of kind of sad. But anyway, we'll go across the bridge here and uh, show you the sights and sounds. Okay, we just crossed the bridge here, guys. Checking out the market on this side. Uh, it's pretty much the same stuff on that side. But just figured to show you guys. And it looks like it goes all the way in there and I don't know if you guys have been to these types of markets in this type of weather but uh, you get into those markets deep down the hallways there there's no air conditioning there's no fans or no nothing and it's brutally hot in there so I try to avoid if I don't have to go in there like way down there oh they got some fans so okay I can stand corrected it's still pretty hot down there so I got some nice stuff here knickknacks probably all from um, I remain most of China. Hello, oh, very nice. We'll be there tomorrow. How about today? No, no, thank you. You buy today, then you could try some. Huh? Yeah, it looks today. nice. So, typical market. Hello, oh, very, oh, very nice. No, 
I bet, but no thank you. No thank you. <laughs> Everybody trying to sell me something. A lot of these booths are closed though, so interesting the taxi driver from the airport said their tourism is, is down, slowly picking up. So Hello, okay, no thank you. No thank you. It's okay. Thank you. So, no, yeah, very nice. Thank you. Hello inside cheap for you. I bet. Thank you. So yeah, everybody's selling everything. One of the rules um, interesting in Thailand, you're not allowed to supposed to take you're not allowed to take pictures of Buddha. You're not allowed to get a tattoo of Buddha. You're not allowed to take anything home that represents Buddha. That's kind of a rule I stick to, so I have not got anything Buddha-like. But what we're gonna do, what I'd like to do... Oh, look at what is going on here. So it's like he's drawn out like a stencil outline and then he's just uh, carving this or uh, engraving this. Okay guys, just about uh, just a few, a couple hundred, or hundred feet from Club Street. Um, but the other night I was just exploring when I got here, I found this little sort of side alley. It's got these really funky restaurants and little bars I want to show you guys. So this Club Street, we'll do that shortly, but I want to show you this other place. It's just over here and uh, it's got uh, cool little places to hang out. So we will cross the street and head over there. So when I was in uh, Ho Chi Minh City, there's a place just like this called uh, Vasic Lane. Little hidden area by really funky restaurants. Little tiny bars. Uh, one tiny nightclub, which is full of uh, Vietnamese, go figures, for the young younger crowd. There's a dog, a puppy in the camera. <laughs> Picasso bar. This is like a funky place. So I like these uh, hidden away places. Uh, sort of kind of away from all the tourist areas. It's kind of a little more quiet back here. These are places I find have a little more character. So I don't know the name of this little lane or alley, but uh, it's right next to Pub Street. It runs parallel to Pub Street, if you're interested. It's a gelato lab. I like gelato. Ah, massage. There's always massage plates. Duty free. Duty free outlet store it sells a bunch of stuff. Again. I think this is here years ago when I came to the same place. And this is going to be the, the side street off of Pub Street. Okay, there's Pub Street right there. Pub Street. And my hotel is that way and then that way. Alright, let's go to Pub Street. 
Nightclubs here on Pub Street. This is one of the nightclubs. Walked by here the other night, last night, on my way back to the hotel, and uh, this is full of young Cambodians. And the one behind me, another nightclub, don't know the name of that one, that was full of young Cambodians as well. So this is definitely the place to be. Lots of foreigners down here as well. Definitely no shortage of restaurants here are endless amounts of restaurants and places to eat. And then a lot of them have, you can see, um, sort of like a, a place to sit upstairs as well. So it's seating downstairs and upstairs. I've uh, checked out a few of them already. Uh, food's good, no issues at all. Um, it's like there's so like a side street down here. We'll check this out later. We'll continue on down uh, Pump Street here though. Even though uh, Cambodia wasn't part of the Vietnam War, they were sort of um, used as a... I think the US used them to sort of gain ground further up in Vietnam, so unfortunately there was uh, lots of landmines uh, left in Cambodia, so um, those are still around. Part of, part of war, it's unfortunate, the unfortunate part. So we are going further down this way. So like this bar here, I guess it's called the temple. It sounds like live music up there, so um, maybe check that out as well. This is one of those uh, places where you, you put your feet in and the fish, the fish eat the, uh, I guess the dead skin. Tickles when they bite your finger. Doesn't hurt though.
beautiful. And then there's this one over here, I don't know. Dang, I can walk more, so. I say this one's probably, probably the most happening one right now. Having my feet massaged by a bunch of little fish, Pub Street, downtown Siem Reap. Cheers. Just ordered some of this uh, ice cream roll. It's uh, let's say about five years ago. I think I saw one ice cream roll stand. Now there's probably a dozen of them all around the neighborhood here. So uh, just figured I just had some uh, dinner. So I'm gonna have uh, some dessert. I'll show you guys what it looks like. This is an ice cream rolls, uh, Pub Street, CM Reap. up from the ground near the end or the beginning of Pub Street depending on uh, which way you start. Uh, looks like it's called the Penthouse. Uh, bottom level is a restaurant, second level is uh, pool tables and live DJ. Top level is called the Penthouse as you can see. It's just uh, a little more quieter, relatively quieter. Uh, nice view. So I might uh, start my uh, first beer for the night.
Okay, this is another rooftop bar I'm gonna check out next to my hotel. This is uh, above Cafe Amazon. So we'll see what's that. You can hear the music. I may have to edit the music because of YouTube uh, copyright infringement. So I'm gonna have to put my own music in, but we'll go up and see what it looks like. down maybe listen to music and then uh, call it a night tomorrow's gonna be an early day off to anger what I'm gonna put aside two days for that maybe three try and check out as many temples as I can so uh, yeah, tonight will be an early night so thanks for coming along guys this is pub street anything else comes up I'll show you guys peace out